Victoria is about is the ongoing power struggle between Victoria and Albert. All I can think about Albert is the one man I thought I could trust. My husband has deceived me. Season two, we enter Victoria and Albert's early marriage. The honeymoon period is over, and it's now balancing marriage, work, job, baby. I think it's easy to forget how young these two people are. They're early 20s with a newborn baby. I see no reason to trouble the queen. I do not want to distress her at this delicate time. In her first two years of marriage, she's um, pretty much constantly pregnant. She really resented the way that every time she was pregnant, you know, Albert took more and more control. I am not tired, Albert. I am angry. No good deed ever goes unpunished. Diana Rigg and, and her character. The Duchess of Buccleuch, do you think she's just a dragon? What is the meaning of this gutter snipe? She sees things that other people don't see. She speaks truth to power. She begins taking on quite a particular role, and that role, as the series goes on, changes. It's not what's expected. Your display of emotion was entirely appropriate. Lord M is back. The relationship between Lord M and Victoria is such a precious, formative relationship. Do you find me much changed? Only for the better, ma'am. It's a love story set within a very unique setting at a unique time of history. It's so profound. There is this complete devotion and love. You really feel the family becoming a family. Oh, I'm so pleased you're back. I want you. You have me.